Welcome back to the channel guys and like the previous video said is this the beginning or the end of this clock I'm no expert I'm gonna try and fix this clock the best I can so stick around and let's see if I can really make this thing work hi guys subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Welcome guys. Let's see. The first thing that I've noticed on this clock is that the screws that I use to keep the head of the clock to the back plate has been tearing out of this wood. Now, my grandfather built this clock in the very late 80s early 90s and he gave it to me so this is real wood it's not any imitation wood this clock is extremely heavy but he used this very simple layered wood here at the back to keep the back of the clock connected so i'm gonna have to use washers to fix this problem okay now that the head is off there we have the hammer. And we have the R ones. Now again, as you can see, it was a thin plank that he used at the back. So we have to try and get this to turn. So yes, we're going to clean all of this, clean the gear and everything. And I can already see one mistake. The one thing the technician told me was that the heaviest weight has to be hanging on the chain that goes for the quarterly. Otherwise it's not going to turn. And the weight was on the wrong side. I found the weight on the other side. So. Uh, I think we should quickly test that theory. Uh, what I have found right off the bat is on the side that hits the hour chime. Uh, this but this gear is stuck. As you can see, it only turns up to a small while and then it stops. So uh, this might be why this side isn't working. <clears throat> I also discovered that somebody did mess around with the weights. I changed the hooks on the weights, put the heaviest one on the side where the where the every quarterly chime is, which is this one, and it actually works now. When you, it it actually worked on its own. So um, I think the gears are just messed up. I think the sequence is out. It's dirty, and I'm going to have to basically strip the clock and reset it from scratch. So when it starts up, it starts up at 0 or at 12 and we take it from there. The clock runs, it loses a bit of time but that we can adjust on the pendulum and uh, this, um, this is the part that bothers me. So it doesn't look too complicated, we're going to split them apart, clean all the gears, put everything back like it is now. Um, I think the thing that I'm going to do now firstly is to remove the mechanism so uh, like I always do I'll take photos of each and every thing that I do and uh, yeah I'm gonna remove the face first and then we'll remove the mechanism so that we can uh, clean it in a few days when I get the chemicals morning guys well it's uh, day three for me uh, working on the clock so uh, day one or the first uh, when we just started we stripped some of it and then yesterday i got the ammonia and the oil and today we're going to complete um, stripping it taking it apart and then we're going to soak the clock movement component the whole thing in a bucket with water and ammonia for a couple of hours and then we'll um, strip the component itself 
and start cleaning the gears. Okay, so the only thing that I've done now is I removed the face piece. So now you can clearly see the mechanism. So, um, um, yeah, I'm just going to loosen these two bolts. And then this whole mechanism should come out with the chains. And then uh, for today, we're just going to soak this whole mechanism in some ammonia to make sure that most of the dirt and grime comes out. And then we will... Mm -hmm. Uh, loosen the four or five points and take the whole thing apart and then we'll start cleaning each and every gear and we'll see what's what well okay looking at this watch uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera but it's actually very dirty it's extremely dirty this oil that's on here and the dust and dirt. Uh, it's no wonder this thing is not running. It's looking terrible. Everything is huh, so brown and dirty. Uh, I mean, this is what it's supposed to look like on the inside, but it's not. So yeah, we're going to. Um, oh, we're going to soak this whole thing now inside the ammonia and then we will see what it looks like after a couple of hours okay so the clock movement is now soaking inside a bucket of boiling water with ammonia and immediately you can see the color and shine is coming out of the clock and look at all that dirt and shit drifting around in the bucket Sisa. so we're gonna leave it there for a couple of hours okay guys I've soaked it in ammonia for two hours and look how nice and shiny it is much better than it was before we put it in and that water was disgusting I'm gonna take it out now and let it uh, dry out you can actually see how the dirt is packed onto the gears um, yeah, we're definitely going to have to uh, get all this nonsense off this dirt here, especially the dirt on there. Yeah, well, and uh, I mean, even there, you can see this dirt on there. We're going to definitely have to do a lot of polishing. I can see more or less why they say it takes a lot of time to clean everything. But just, we're still going to try and do it um, with before the end of 18 weeks. Hi guys. It is exactly 9 days since we started the clock project. And um, yeah, it's just been hectic. I had to uh, work a lot this last week. So I wasn't able to do a lot on the clock. So um, time wise, since we took off the movement of the clock and cleaned it. I've only spent about three hours on the clock so far. Although it's nine days later, physical time spent on the clock has been about three hours. So today, I'm going to start actually stripping the movement and start cleaning the components. Okay guys, so um, I have to choose an angle more or less that you can see what, I, what I'm doing but also you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing actually I'll see if I can do an over the shoulder shot but then it's going to be in the way of my spotlight that's actually helping me to see so uh, I'm going to take pictures of this thing step by step as I'm stripping it mm -hmm. and um, if you want to I'll add those photos to the um, to the video but uh, I think for now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this part out. Then I'm going to do this part. And then when I loosen the plates, all this will come off automatically. So uh, I'm going to get um, some cleaning chemicals, uh, brush, earbuds, and let's begin. You stole my heart of gold after my seal. 
Okay guys, this is as far as I got unfortunately. So thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe if you want to see the next video. Remember to give me a thumbs up, drop a comment and see you next time.